it's so man that that is this is a life-saving part of this machine hey there folks this is josh stoney rich farmer welcome to the tym booth here on day two of the national farm machinery show here in louisville kentucky we're going to take you around we're going to show you some of the cool stuff i hope you guys enjoy the video hit that like button subscribe to the channel we'd love to have you back let's get busy showing you some cool stuff Alright guys, once again we're showing innovation here at the Woods Booth at the National Farm Machinery Show. This is called the Smart Lift System. Our backs, we only get one back, that's it, that's all you get. So come here, I'll show you exactly how it works. With the Woods bat wing, you pull this collar back, it stays back, it's unlocked. We pull this off, it loosens down. This is the Smart Lift System. Take the handle, lower it down. This weighs about 60 pounds when we have to hook it up. You know it's going to be greasy, it's going to be nasty, and it's going to be a pain in the butt. All we do, take the handle to the smart lift, raise it up just like this, take your collar, it's already cocked back, ready to rock and roll, slips up onto your PTO shaft, just like so. Bam! Locked into place, knock this guy back down, and you're ready to mow. The two handles up by your ears? Nope. Up by your ears, those two, pull straight down and push forward. Pull down and push forward. Dude, that's so, awesome. The idea behind that is it's never above your head. Yeah. We didn't have to make our cab taller. You've right. got plenty of headroom and you don't have to duck to open and close the door. And if you got something up here, you can get out of the machine. You can talk to somebody. You don't want to have this up in the air and get out. All right, Dean, you just told me something about this that's going to yeah. blow my mind. What is this called? It's our ideal access door. It's ideal. actually a bifold door. Okay. It folds up in front of you. It's a split door. Gotcha. Uh, the idea behind that is, is it's never above your head when you're operating. Yeah. We didn't have to make our cab any taller to have it. You don't have to duck or open to open and close it. Uh, it's a very, very nice door. Uh, you can open it no matter where that lift arm is. If you need to communicate with somebody out front, you can quickly open the door. Gotcha. It uh, doesn't interfere with the lift arm, and you can run with it open or closed. Safety, uh, safety, 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 very safety. Very these, see, these machines could be working near a pond or something like that, and you might have the arms up. It's buried in the water, kills the engine. Man, there's some horror stories out there about this. Guys, check this door system out. Bam. That's how... Si Look at that. That is super awesome. When you bounce, your head doesn't hit the glass like some other machines. You run off in a pond and you need to get out. It does not interfere. It's so, man, that, that is, this is a life-saving part of this machine, guys. Very nice option. God. Man, I'm impressed. We've got Jared here with Toro, and we're gonna let Jared walk you around as I climb all over this thing. So the new Z-Master 2000. We've had a Z-Master 2000 for a number of years. This year, we completely revitalized it. So it has a lot of similarities to our Z-Master 4000, big I-beam front end, the same platform for the, for the suspension system, so it's called the MyRide suspension system, where it's not just a suspension seat, your whole feet, the whole platform, it's like you're floating on air. Now some other updates are is to the deck. So now the deck is a full seven gauge steel deck and it's five and a half inches deep. Previous deck on the 2000 was only five. So when you look at just the size of the deck and the roller hangers, everything down here, this is a big durable machine. Looks like you've got you've integrated some lights into into this machine also right here. Yeah, absolutely. And lights, USB port. Um, really, we put a lot of thought into into what goes on back here. Trying yeah. to make this machine as as friendly as can possibly be when you're on a mower for a few hours. This knurl on here, man, that's something that really really matters because when your foot slips off of this, this is a painful situation. So if you've got if you don't have a good knurl on that footstep right there which raises and lowers the deck guys I have personally mashed this down on other mowers and it's out of the way you notice it's out of the way it's not right here in your way it's right here and I have had my foot slip off of it and it scraped the back of my leg so kudos to Toro for that people you can find this on Toro.com absolutely is that right let's go check out the electric stuff now Jared this is not Jared 
No, no. <laughs> this is this is the far more knowledgeable Sarah. Okay. It actually leads leads the battery handheld equipment. Well, so we'll see you. I'll see you guys. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Thank Get you. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. So Sarah, yes. tell me about this. This is the brand new Revolution Professional handheld equipment. So this is truly commercial grade. We've got our backpack here, which really serves as a power system for all of the tools here. So we've got our blower cannon here, so you can do a backpack blower. This um, is 730 CFM, 160 miles per hour, if you're using two 10 amp hour batteries in the backpack. We also have the power link tether that connects right here to the backpack that allows you to connect the string trimmer as well as the hedge trimmer to the backpack. While you're talking? You absolutely okay. can. Cool. And you can model it if you want to. Nice. Keep talking. Yeah. And so if you open this up in here too, there's capacity for two batteries in here. And the cool thing about the, um, these products and the backpack specifically is that they work with any flex force battery. So we have all the way from two and a half up to 10, 10 amp hours. So depending nice. on how long you want to run, you can really pick the battery that matches your need for you. Huh, that's yes. nice, that's And then really you can cool. use the handheld then... tools with a single battery as well. The last thing I wanted to touch on here is our six pod charger. So this will charge any combination of FlexForce batteries. So like I said, we have the two and a half all the way up, in, up to the 10. You can put any combination on this charger, it will charge them. Our biggest battery is the 10 amp hour battery. It will charge it in 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Yep. Wow. This is awesome. This is for hanging in your trailer, Landscape Pro, exactly. grab and go. Exactly. Or Farmer Pro. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, it's really the full suite of, of products for you. Um, and yeah. You have seen this on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Cut a 15 ply skitter tire to make our tire water tanks. I'll try to roll a clip of that, guys. Toro. These guys make good stuff. These are good people. These are family people, guys. And we are going to take you to some other cool places here at the National Farm Machinery. So thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys, we are with Alan from Friends Guard. Dad has a Friends Guard. Josh needs a Friends Guard. When it comes to pulling logs out of the woods and getting them to the mill, that's what this thing does. So I'm going to let Alan take it from here. Tell us what this is and what horsepower tractor this thing would be pulled behind. It's a three-point hookup, right? It's a three-point hitch PTO driven. Um, this is actually, there's a smaller model as well. We're looking at anywhere from 25 to about 35 horsepower on this. Gotcha, okay. Um, and it pulls uh, 6,600 pounds. Gotcha. But it has 130 feet of cable. Gotcha. So you are pulling that out, tying up your trees. You can tie several at the same time and pull them all in. Gotcha. Using the choker chains. So this is designed, these are choker chains right here. This is designed to pull your log out of the woods without having to take your machine in the woods in that dangerous situation where you could bump into a tree, have a widow maker fall on your head or whatever. When you pull your log up, it pulls it up here against this blade, which digs into the ground as you pull. So this digs down, it pulls the log up. And once you get the log in place right here, it's up off the ground so you're not plowing through the woods with the log. This is for a smaller horsepower, like a compact tractor. Yep. This is for a utility type tractor, a little bit the, heavier unit. Yeah, 8,800 pound pull from 35 to 65 horsepower. So when we're pulling big daddy logs out, and you can right. pull multiple logs with this also. That's right. Now uh, the next one down? Is the, uh, the 5021, it's actually 11,000 pound pull. Wow. Wow. Uh, again, I, I'd like to stress a point is once you've brought the, the the logs up to the winch, you take up your slack and tie them down there because okay. there's a lock mechanism on the drum. No In idea. other words, if your engine stalls, it it drops. Okay. It holds the load so you for safety. Gotcha. Well, that makes sense too. Absolutely. Another feature in all winches that you shouldn't forget is when you're out cutting them yep. on a windy day and your tree gets snagged, yep. instead of climbing up and sawing it, right. number one wid widow maker in the woods. Absolutely. You can pull it down. Safely. What, safely. So you drop yeah. it, it leans, it's hung up in there. A lot of people are you know, yeah, yeah. You know, trying to get it on the ground. Right. And that takes away that so safety. So a risk. big safety factor. Over 15,000 units sold in North America. Today. Wow. Well, like I said, man, my dad has one. Simple booth. 
but gosh, just a lifesaver. Guys, we'll see you at the next booth. Woo! We were on our way out the door. We were actually leaving the farm show, and you guys all know, if you follow the channel, how passionate I am about soil health and multi-species pasture, fixing nitrogen, changing the pH, and not calling the fertilizer guy to come to your farm to do this. So saving money by putting down the right plants. And we ran into these guys from BioTeal. How you doing? Tell everybody your name. TJ Cardis. TJ, what do you guys do? All right, what we do is our biggest primary goal is we raise cover crop seed and sell them to producers to use it in regenerative practices. So we're trying to get guys to not just cut out fertilizer companies, but manage their farms better, manage your best asset we have in the world, which is clean water and good soil. Absolutely. That's what we do. Absolutely. So multi-species cover crops, diversity, is the way we make it work. And these species that we raise and sell, that's how we make this happen. So whether a guy is farming corn, corn soybeans, sour gum, whatever it is he or she is following uh, farming, you got to cover the soil. The right. sun is, if you go lay out in the sun for six hours, what does it do to your body? I know what it does to me. I'm not a very nice color. <laughs> well, and the other part is you got to really about understand how soil functions. So once soil gets over 104 degrees, which during the day, a naked soil can get up to 140, yep. your microbes all die, your biology is dead, your crop is shut down. So if you keep your ground armored all the time, spring, summer, and fall, the best of your ability, your ground doesn't get that warm, your crop keeps growing, your microbes keep working, you don't fry them, and everything works better. The other thing is, it's all about keeping our water clean. Yeah. So the more covers we have out in the ground, the more we scavenge up nutrients, we don't let water get where it doesn't belong, doesn't get down the Mississippi, doesn't get in our aquifer. This, this all works together as a systematic approach to agriculture is what we're trying to do. You're talking my language, brother. This is what the topsoil was like on the Stony Ridge farm when we first started. There's still places that are like that. You have a bare spot in your yard right now where you've been stepping through the yard and it's compacted right there. You've got specific seeds that go in, send a root system down, break up that soil and reintroduce those microbes that are so important. There's more life in a spoonful of soil than there are grains of sand on the beach. That's right, that's right. It's amazing, Billions guys. Billions of colonies of, of living, living active biology, fungi, bacteria, all these different things that all work together off the base root system. The other part is putting carbon in the soil. Carbon is the food source for the microbes. Yep. You take carbon out of there, put it in the soil, feeds the microbes, the microbes feed your plants. It all works together in a total system. Absolutely. We've been preaching this over at the Woods booth for about a week now that we had the topsoil of the concrete floor here at the show. We've also been preaching this. If you went to a hotel room and you got a, a bed, we're all staying here in Louisville, Kentucky, right, Louisville. and it didn't have a blanket in that bed, would you sleep good? No, no. you wouldn't sleep good. No. Now, why would that work any differently with putting down seeds on your land? We've got to give them a bed to grow into. We've got to give them the fungi that they need, the microbes that we need. Soil is living, and I'm so glad we met you, man. Uh, good, good Guys, you too, brother. We are good going to, to be... You guys are going to be on the farm. We're going to start sure. using some seeds. They're going to develop a seed mix just for us here on the Stony Ridge Farm so that we can help both feed our cows, not a monocrop to our cows, but a multi-species salad bar beef project and a soil building project. I am not a cattle farmer. I'm a soil farmer that harvests beef from the health of our soil. So. So good to, good meet, to you, meet you, man. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks for the interview. Awesome, guys. Talk to you later. Guys, that is the National Farm Machinery Show, part two, day two, here in Louisville, Kentucky. Thank you so much for watching the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Hit that like button on your way out the door. Subscribe and check out biotill.com. Is that yep, it? Biotill.com. Biotill.com. These guys, what a great place to end this video, guys. Fantastic. See you next time on the Stony Ridge. Here's what we do at the end. Woo! Woo! There we go. See y'all. Feel a burp coming. We'll see you. I'll see you guys. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Thank you. Get out of here. <laughs> it's pretty cool stuff. <laughs> and then the last thing Are I'll you, <laughs> Can I catch ghosts with this? You know what? You probably could. Hold on. If you do like this. All right. <laughs> Light is green. Trap is clean.